Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm sure you're aware of traditional canning jars, the mason jar, ball jar, but the lid design is evolving. So most of the time you're used to a metal ring and then a metal lid that secures down through the canning process. That's called a two-piece lid. The problem with these is they're not reusable, okay? So what this company has done, Tatler, since the 1970s, is they offer a reusable lid system. It's again two pieces. There's a rubber gasket and then a plastic lid. You still go ahead and fasten it down with the metal ring during processing, but when you're done, you take it off and you've got reusable lids, indefinitely reusable. So let me show you how to actually use these. All right, so what I've got is some diced tomatoes and I'm doing the raw pack boiling water canning method. You can look that up, but basically you put your raw, cleaned produce in a jar, bring up the liquid so that you have a half inch of headspace. Okay, so this is where you would normally put your metal two-piece ring set on. Now I've got the gasket warmed up in some hot water. Put that on first. Then you put your plastic lid. And now here's where it differs from the traditional canning technique. You start screwing the band on, the ring and you turn it until the jar starts to turn, and that's it, don't tighten it anymore. You go ahead and process this in your boiling water canner for 45 minutes, then when you take it out, you're gonna tighten that on until it cools. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll show you the finished product. All right, the jars have been boiling for 45 minutes, and the first one I'm taking out is the reusable lid. Now, in just a minute, I'm going to tighten that down even further, and I'm gonna compare it to some old-fashioned lids, like this one. This one does not need further tightening when it comes out of the canner, and the lid will pop down automatically as the vacuum seals. Okay, so you can see how much of my headspace, basically, I lost. Um, a lot of the fluid must have bubbled out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a batch with the Tatler lid, and this jar is way overfilled with water, I mean right up to the top. This jar is at the correct level, that's about a, maybe a half an inch from the top, and this one's underfilled. And I wanna see what effect these three different treatments will have on the headspace when it comes out of the canner. Okay, here's our water experiment. That's our filled too high. This is our filled too low. This is our normal. All right. When these cool, I'll go ahead and open them up and see how they compare. All right, let me wrap up this review of these Tatler reusable lids. Now, what I did was I filled three jars with water. This one was filled right to the top. This one was filled about a half inch down, and this one was filled too low deliberately. I just wanted to see what effect it would have on the seal. Now, first thing I noticed, didn't seal. So that was the too high. So if you fill it too high, the lid's not gonna seal. This is the correct level, and you notice that the lid did seal, okay? And finally, this one was too low. Oops, didn't seal. So one of the things about these lids is that you definitely have to make sure you're filling it with the correct amount of headspace. Okay, so now we come back over here. Now with this jar, honestly I was disappointed. Look at how much the headspace increased. Anything exposed to the air is going to have discoloration, maybe some off flavors. It did seal, but you know, I don't know why I lost a whole bunch of fluid. And here we have just a regular jar of tomatoes. What I was going to do was go ahead and give it a taste test. This has probably been at least a week. Ooh, that is hard to get off. Okay, good vacuum pressure. Smells absolutely fine. Yeah, I mean, I do a lot of canning, as you can tell. These reusable lids have an appeal. I think I'm going to use them for some applications, but I'm probably going to go back and use the metal lid with the ring. And these are kind of good for, I guess, emergency, but they're kind of fickle, I'm not going to lie. All right, I hope you enjoyed this review, and if you have requests, let me know. Happy canning!